morning. This is Dr. Rajkumar Arya, Associate Professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering, NIT Jalandhar. Today I am going to explain Bingham fluid flow in a circular tube. So this is actually the problem statement. So problem statement says here, consider a fluid of density rho in an incompressible laminar flow in a long circular tube of radius r and length l and effects may be neglected because length of the tube is much much larger than the radius of the tube the fluid flows under the influence of a pressure difference delta p comma grape t or both determine the steady state velocity distribution for non-newtonian fluid that is described by Bingham model. Second, obtain the mass flow rate for a Bingham fluid in a circular tube. So if we draw the schematic of this particular uh, problem here, so this is the tube here which is stationary. Z axis is being considered along the axis of the tube which is this one and coordinate system the origin is being considered at the center of the tube and this is r coordinate and this one is theta coordinate here so flow is only in z directions the pressure at z equal to 0 equal to p naught pressure at z equal to l is p2 or pl so if you apply here the z momentum balance because direction of flow is z so in that case uh, your uh, momentum equation is this so this is uh, so in this uh, particular case we are putting our constants in order to solve it so first we are putting steady state operation here so this first term would be <coughs> would be cancelled because it's the derivative of time we are considering totally one dimensional flow in z directions so the this vr component would be zero the velocity component in the radial directions S similarly v theta would also be velocity component in theta directions v theta would also be zero uh, this term del vz upon del z would be equal to zero because we are considering here fully developed flow in the axial direction so therefore velocity should not change with respect to direction of the flow right hand side term this uh, del p upon del z term is there g is also there this term del v z upon del r because velocity is getting changed in the with respect to r coordinate because uh, in these uh, directions the contact surfaces are there now del vz upon del theta and del vz upon del z uh, because we are considering that axisymmetric flow so velocity should not change uh, with respect to theta coordinate now del vz upon del z uh, will not change with respect to z due to the fully doubler flow in direction z so therefore this term is getting cancelled so our final momentum equation would be 0 equal to minus del p upon del z plus rho g z minus mu 1 upon r del upon del r r tau r z so this term can be uh, changed in terms of shear stress now so you have this minus del p upon del z plus rho g z equal to 1 upon r del upon del r r tau r z so this equation is valid for all type of fluid flow and uh, 1D flow in axial direction only. Now this we can rewrite it uh, from here in this particular format and this particular term here del P upon del Z minus rho G Z is being considered as a modified pressure which is delta P dash pressure drop so now we can uh, this partial derivative we can write in terms of total derivative because r is the only variable now so if we integrate that we will get r tau rz equal to delta p dash r square by 2 plus c so from here the tau rz equal to delta p dash r by 2 plus c by r 
now we have to find this unknowns so at r equal to 0 the shear stress tau rz equal to 0 so we substitute here so this term is becoming infinite so to make it finite we are forcing that c should be equal to 0 so therefore this so therefore we have got the constant c equal to 0 so we got tau rz equal to delta p dash by 2 into r now for the Bingham model the viscoelastic materials we need a minimum the stress to make it flow until that that stress is reached uh, fluid will behave just like a solid or no flow actually so in this case tau rz equal to tau naught plus mu naught del bz upon del r so in that case tau rz equal less than equal to tau naught so this is less than this the total difference of this would be this so the net thing could be less than equal to zero so less than is not uh, possible so worst case it will be zero so no flow actually so in that case uh, mu naught uh, del bz upon del r so we can integrate that so bz i equal to c1 so this is the hence the velocity is constant for r equal to r0 region is called inner plug flow region now outer region is from r0 to uh, the radius of the pipe so this is uh, region where velocity decreases with increase in R. So we can write uh, again shear stress expression here for Bingham fluid that tau rz equal to tau naught plus mu dbz upon dr. So here we can write the expression for dbz upon dr equal to tau rz upon mu naught minus tau naught upon mu naught. So this we can we can integrate it. So if we integrate that we are getting this expression here. Uh, with the constant c2 now the boundary condition here at r equal to plus minus r vz equal to 0 no slip boundary condition here so if we substitute that condition here so that r equal to r so in that case we are finding that uh, tau naught mu naught r plus delta p dash r square upon 4 mu naught plus c2 so from here the c2 is coming out to be this tau naught upon mu naught r minus delta p dash for mu naught r square so we know we know the constant c2 we can substitute it back and we will get the expression for vz so your vz uh, expression is this tau naught upon mu naught r 1 minus r upon r minus delta p dash r square upon 4 mu naught bracket 1 minus r upon r per square so this is the expression for velocity for outer regions for r naught less than equal to r less than equal to r capital r or minus r less than equal to mi minus r less than equal to minus r naught now at r equal to r zero so inner plug flow velocity and outer region velocity must be same so we can equate them by substituting here r equal to r zero so we can get the velocity of the inner plug flow region so we substitute that we are getting this expression here and at r equal to r zero tau r z equal to r equal to r zero delta p dash r naught upon two so we can get expression for here tau naught so this we can write it now at tau naught here so this is vzi so so inner plug flow velocity here so here you have expression here this one we can arrange them take the comma simplify it so if we simplify it so you will get the expression here the, minus delta p dash r square upon 4 mu naught 1 minus r naught upon r whole square so this is the expression for inner plug flow velocity which was equal to constant and it was when calculated by equating the velocity of outer region here which comes out to with this 
minus delta p dash r square upon 4 mu naught 1 minus r naught upon r whole square. This is the velocity. Now we want to find the mass flow rate. So for mass flow rate, uh, we can find here first the volumetric flow rate multiplied by density. So let's find the volumetric flow rate. So we can have velocity by expression multiplying by differential area and uh, this will give you the differential volumetric flow rate. This can be integrated for over the entire cross section area for flow that will give you the volumetric flow rate. So we have this uh, theta is 2 pi because pi is fully filled so this will come 2 pi here. So you got the expression here 0 to r bz r dr. Now again we can uh, uh, we are integrating it here so if we we'll integrate here this is first term this is second term here so if we we'll integrate this by taking this first term and second term so bz r square by 2 0 to r now we can differentiate this dbz upon dr then here you have r square by 2 into dr so this term would help us actually so at uh, r equal to 0 so this is 0 velocity is highest so this total product would be 0 at r equal to capital R at the boundaries so this term would be non-zero and this velocity is zero so this first term will get completely cancelled that we can see from here so bz r r square by 2 minus bz at 0 0 square by 2 minus 1 by 2 0 to r dbz upon dr r square into dr so at r equal to 0 bz is 0 uh, no slip condition no at r equal to r vz equal to 0 no slip condition at r equal to 0 vz is the maximum that is at the center point so this term and this term is getting cancelled now so therefore we left with only last term here so q is minus pi 0 to r dbz upon dr r square by r square into dr so we have the the expression now tau r z again tau naught plus mu naught dbz upon dr so we can write expression for dbz from here so now we have tau r z expression is delta p dash r upon this so we can find tau naught corresponding to r naught here delta p dash r naught by 2 tau r the shear stress at pi wall by putting r square by 2 r by delta p dash r by 2 now by different means uh, dividing these two we will get tau r z upon tau r equal to r upon r from here we will get the expression of dr equal to r upon tau r dr z so this expression of dr would be from here dbz upon dr would be here and we can substitute here so we will get uh, this is volumetric flow rate by expression here 0 to tau r dbz upon dr r square tau square rz upon tau r square then you have r upon tau r z d tau r z here so this is whole this entire expression is in terms of uh, shear stress actually now you have again dbz upon dr so you are putting tau rz square d tau rz now this again is divided into two parts one is 0 to tau naught one is from tau naught to tau tau r so this will help us in 0 to tau naught we are there in inner pillar floor region there dbz upon dr term is always less than or equal to 0 so this term is 0 since tau rz is less than or equal to tau naught so we left it only with this term only so the, your q would be minus pi r cube upon tau r cube tau naught into tau tau naught to tau r dbz upon dr tau 
square R Z D tau R Z. So we can substitute the value of D B Z upon D R. So we have this expression from Bingham plot model. So we can multiply it. So if we we'll multiply it, we will get the this equations. Then integrate it, substitute the limit. We will get this expression tau 4 tau naught 4 minus 4 by 3 tau naught tau r cube plus 4 by 3 tau naught cube. Simplify it. So if we we'll simplify it, we will get the expression of q is minus pi delta p dash r4 8 mu naught bracket 1 minus 4 upon 3 tau naught upon tau r plus 1 upon 3 tau naught upon tau r 4. So, if you want to find mass flow rate, multiply this volumetric flow rate per expression by density here. So, you will get one more term. This equation is known as Buckingham Rayner equations. Now, tau naught is the yield, yield stress and tau r equal to delta P dash by 2r, the shear stress at the wall. So, this expression you can write in terms only for tau r greater than tau naught because there is no flow below is below tau naught actually. So for Newtonian fluid if you are the substituting tau naught equal to 0 mu naught equal to mu your expression is coming this so this will come directly from here this term will get cancelled this term will get cancelled for the Newtonian fluid tau naught is the 0 and mu naught will change by mu so whatever expression will come will is this one the Q equal to minus pi delta P dash R4 upon 8 mu. This is known as Poisley equations. So our derivation, this is all about the derivation of uh, Bingham fluid flow in a circular tube. Thank you very much. You can visit our web, my web page, Google Scholar, Scopus, or said and YouTube channel. Thank you very much.